Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hands by John Readings. This reading will be for my Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, for the upcoming week of August 24th, 2020. We are rolling through August, y'all. Like, this is serious. Like, September about to be here. Like, wow. 2020 is almost gone. All right. What are the major things for my Earth signs for the upcoming week of August 24th, 2020, please? So, we have the... Wow. Okay, so be on alert this week, Earth Signs, first of all. Second of all, as I was saying, we have a female carnal bird who is still singing. You may or may not be able to hear her. Um, she was singing throughout the last reading that I did. She continues to. She's looking for the male. So, because usually they are around and they flying together. So the message here is, again, being open to divine messages that are coming to you from angels or from loved ones who have passed on, ascended masters, but also somebody could be looking for something like a girl or female energy could be looking for a male or just trying to find somebody or something that you feel like is hiding from you or missing out of your life so so deep <laughs> so deep look at this main energies of the week the wind pick up two bamboo duck well i'll be dang so <laughs> this is about partnerships right but not just partnerships this is all two is a number of balance it's a number of diplomacy it's a number of cooperation so if partnerships is not on your mind it's not something that you're focusing on right now earth signs which i'd be shocked because again this female cardinal never is without her male for this long and she never sings for this long so there's something going on um but this is about cooperation Working with other people, working in groups to bring more harmonious circumstances into your life. Yeah. That's bad. The wind picked up when I said that. <gasps> Look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Because now I'm only drawing five cards. So when cards repeat, that's even more extreme. So y'all got energies that y'all coming out of are the two bamboo ducks <laughs> so it's like this is a continuation of, of last week y'all are working on smoothing out situations right partnerships um group projects could be relationships and they don't have to be romantic right but there's something where y'all wasn't seeing eye to eye and now you're trying to line y'all trying to align right trying to make sure that the energies align wow i'm now i'm real curious about these next cards Wow, so the water side has also got the white card in this exact situation. So this is going to be a very mystical week for everybody. <clears throat> very magical week. A week of new beginnings. A week of blank slates. We are in between the new moon in Leo and the full moon in Pisces, right? Which is coming on like the third, so the following week. That's a big jump. Going from Leo energy to Pisces energy is a huge, huge jump. And what the universe is saying is now is the time to set your intentions earth sign what is it that you want right and work with the divine they're also letting you know that you could have a divine partnership coming or you could be being assisted assisted by the divine right by god goddess by the universe in your endeavors and in this partnership so there's a heavy emphasis on partnerships this week and for some people it could be a specific partnership they saying it's up to you and the universe is helping you so again if you're looking for somebody if you're searching for something that you probably ain't told nobody, like the universe is helping you manifest that. Issues, oh my gosh. So this is probably a real specific message, probably just maybe one person. You could have some issues with another person. And I knew that, I saw that in this duck card. You could have some issues with coming together, merging as one. Because if you notice in this West card, it's the ocean, which represents one body of water. But within the ocean, there are different waves right and the, each wave has its own desire its own personality look at it like that it's not just one stagnant body of water there's different factions different aspects of it so here you have two waves crashing up against each other right this this represents one person trying to go this way and another person trying to go that way and they end up crashing so you could have some issues some conflicts with the person a conflict some conflicts in a partnership or about a partner or about the new beginnings that you thought was coming or the new beginnings that you are desiring of this part person you could also have some conflicts with this partner about with the person about the bigger picture how you see your life evolving and their role in it this is also about objectives 
right? Allowing things to end. So something may be ending earth signs that you are kind of fighting up against. But the good news is that ultimately when these waves crash, what happens? They smooth out. So it's all going to work out anyway for your greatest good. You don't have nothing to worry about. And if this is a partnership that you're dealing with, with a person, with a project that you're working on or something like that, they're saying everything is going to smooth itself out. Just kind of let it ride, right? Don't stress. Don't stress. Four circles, Jade. The same cards are coming up, y'all. In the readings, this is crazy. So four circles, Jade. You are ending a more stability in in a more stable mindset is what they're saying. Yes, you've worked hard. Yes, you've had to cut through some stuff and there was some confusion around who you work with, right? Friends, how many of us have them? You know what I'm saying? Your partnerships, who you can trust, stuff like that. Question if you're going along the right path with the projects that you're working on in life. But ultimately, this is a very stable week for you, especially for partnerships, even though it may not feel like it. Of course, it's going to take work, earth signs, right? It may even take some, some money. You may have to invest in a person or in a relationship. So that means like if you're dating somebody and you're taking them out, you're going to have to spend some money or it's on yourself, right, to make yourself look good or whatever the case may be, right? The, an investment is required. But ultimately, they want you to know if you're working on a new partnership and you're having some bumps in the road, that's okay. And if, if you're ha not having no bumps in the road, they're saying to expect them, right? They are normal. It's Par for the course, right? It's going to take work. The jade don't come out of the ground looking like this. In order to build that stable foundation, that abundance, you have to take work and effort and you got to grind and you have to persevere and you have to believe in it too. So believe in this partnership because it looks like it's actually legit. <laughs> I don't know everything, but I know a few things. Okay, I'm gonna start with Virgo now. Just got a feeling. So, turn of buttons. Um, angel number 3636, look that up, Virgo. It could be significant for you. You got a lot of black buttons. Ooh, a lot of black buttons. So, a lot of mental energy. Y'all could be overthinking. Yep, you should, could be doubting yourself, Virgo. Like, usually Virgos are so headstrong and so self assured. But this is a week where y'all could be doubting yourself. Like, okay, is this what I think it is? Am I going down the right path? The universe wants you to see different perspectives of the issue, of the situation that you're dealing with, because there are multiple. And even if you can't see them all, they want you to just be aware of the fact that there are multiple perspectives on this, right? Because that might make, you, make it easier for you to make a decision, to understand. Like, okay, I don't see your point, but I understand that there are multiple points to be gotten here. You see what I'm saying? Um, wow. Clarity is coming. That is beautiful. I love when I see this button because you're getting clarity around. So there's something too that's confusion, confusing. There's something that is really weighing heavily on your mind. Again, it probably has to do with an investment that you've made or even investing in yourself. But they're letting you know clarity is coming surrounding those. And as soon as I said that, the wind picked up. Wow. Blue. We got this blue, blue button. And this one is actually like a darker bluish black too. You can't tell. But again, speaking your truth, like this female cardinal bird if you feel a certain way about somebody Virgo now is the time to tell them now it's not the time to be shy right but you are clearing issues old issues surrounding how you communicate surrounding your throat chakra Virgo and how you deal with obstacles that come into your life how you deal with downloads that come right whether you blurt them out or you don't say anything at all they really want you to heal that you have some luck coming too so sudden luck coming again you could have an epiphany sudden clarity coming around situations around um, all the excess mental energy that you're expending again could have some slight just kind of feeling out of it but that's okay once you speak your truth once you realize what it is that you want to say and you say it in, in whatever form that is right not just verbally but that is okay this is the person I want to present to the world so this is how I'm going to present myself to the world this is how I'm addressed this is how I'm going to walk this is how I'm going to talk whatever you say that and you put that out and you believe in yourself and who you are everything else is going to fall into place Virgo literally everything probably even a partnership right next up Taurus yep things coming together Taurus all these little pieces you could be feeling scattered this week Taurus um, could be dealing with the Leo yeah there are some new opportunities coming 
So in the scatteredness, in what seems to you like chaos, it's not chaos at all. It's actually things coming together, things working to your benefit. Some of you could be having uh, some anxiety that just came up, anxiety around a partnership, and that would explain the cardinal bird, female cardinal bird singing and singing and singing and going crazy looking for her male. Uh, Y'all could be going crazy looking for something or looking for the other half of something, right? Or trying to look for your path. This don't even have to do with the person. This could be your path. Like, where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing? Right? I'm getting thrown off, right? Um, towards, but they're saying embody that energy of the young lion, right? The young lion cub. It worries about nothing. It's bold. It's courageous, right? It stands on its own. Now, the good thing about the Leo energy, the lion energy, and Taurus is that it's, they're both fixed energies. So they want you to remain grounded, remain true to yourself, remain re resolved in your convictions. Again, specifically surrounding how you spend your time in the direction of your life. There could also be something coming that you don't see, right? Again, that could bring all of the missing pieces or the confusion that you're dealing with together, right? Um, again, almost like an epiphany, but not really, not really a full epiphany, but just kind of like a, a minor aha moment. But this is a week for you to stand up, to stand up for yourself, especially as it relates to partnerships and new opportunities to us. Bold. Right, last but not least. That one popped out. Like, I be feeling like I'm pulling the same button sometimes, but... Oh, wow, y'all, yeah, these ones, look at these little sneaky ones. So they're giving you your roses. This is beautiful. I literally did not even know I pulled those out. I just saw these, and then I moved my hand, and those just jumped out somehow. Wow, Capricorn. Wow, Capricorn. Wow, Capricorn. So you are almost there. That's what they want me to tell you, first of all. They want you, you me to know, me to know, they want me to tell you that um, you're about to start a whole new cycle and you don't even realize it. Look at this. Look at what was off to the side. The rose. This is beautiful. White roses represent um, purity. They represent um, friendliness. They represent just amicability in general. In some cultures, of course, white, like Asian culture, white can mean be the color of death. As soon as I said that, that little whatever started screaming at me. I don't know what animal that is. But... But this is not a bad day. This is a rebirth, right? This is a new you. This is beautiful. You are getting your roses, Capricorn. Now is your time. Now is time for you to reap what you have sown in all these years, over all these cycles. This is beautiful. There's a couple other little um, small obstacles that you may have to deal with to get to them. But that's nothing. Because, look, they're saying just be wild. Be yourself. Be authentic, right? Be the true you. Be who you are, Capricorn. Be stealth in your dealings as well. Don't tell everybody what you're working on. Don't um, don't brag too much. Kind of just s sit back and collect your dues. Sit back and allow your efforts to speak on your behalf. So remain grounded. Remain grounded, again, through the elements of confusion that may be coming. It's like when you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, right? You're on a path. But then as you're walking toward that light, like little minor stuff come up to try you right and it's like it's like it's nothing right you always win you see the light it's over it's like fighting your little battles like Psh, okay next Psh, okay next all these things trying to come at you but it's like it's over right i've already been victorious this is also beautiful too somebody can be traveling to mountains um represents again the universe has its eye on you and it's eye on your money your money situation right healing your sense of feeling like you belong in this world your sense of stability your sense of feeling like you have enough you are financially abundant you're materially abundant wow also they want you to be aware that again small obstacles small things coming that is nothing it doesn't mean anything it does not mean anything be um cognizant of your propensity to see the bad in everything right so if you have a blank slate if there's a good situation a good opportunity just take it don't look at all the ways it could go wrong do not indulge in negative self-talk do not see do not focus on the negative even if again there's a small amount of um course correction correction that has to happen as you navigate towards the light at the end of the tunnel beautiful Hey, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a good week. Peace out.